Don't, don't. You're right here. And you want this team to win? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, I want this team to win. I do hope that we win and take it home to the Bronx and represent. I think this is going to put us on the map as something beyond just, you know, just a little school in the Bronx. No, we're going to be like the school in the Bronx. That's, that's it. So. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, young computer scientists. Welcome to the Battle of the Boroughs. In New York City, we're gearing up for the Battle of the Boroughs, which we're incredibly excited about. It's this big esports competition. So in the Battle of the Boroughs, the students receive a prompt where they have to solve a citywide challenge, and they have a certain time limit in order to discuss it with their team and then create a space in Minecraft that addresses this challenge. Last year, we first tried, and we got second place in the Bronx, but we didn't get to go all the way. And I was like, no, this year, we are going all the way. We even made shirts this year. Our official winning team that's representing the whole Bronx in the Battle of the Boroughs is the Straw Hat Loofers. He's the captain. He um, runs to our members. He's a sub. He's the admin, and I'm the navigator. How we're preparing is we're practicing coding, building, sustainability. You can also use like a lot of teamwork and like you can make a lot more friends. You learn how to like really communicate with people. We're gonna have a lot more competition. We're gonna have to work a lot harder to build and try our best to stand out enough so that we can win. I think that esports is a great opportunity for students to learn teamwork, to develop empathy to work on conflict resolution skills, and also dive really in deep into deeper academic concepts like computational thinking, decomposition, working on pattern recognition. Being in eSports is teaching me how to do coding and how to help my team in more ways than just one. If you don't have teamwork, then it might not be the easiest to complete. How do y'all feel it? Y'all ready to see our kids do it? Like I said, there's a lot of talent in this room. So, and the winners are the Straw Hat. So the students engaging with this curriculum are, are everyone. You know, all the students love it. Boys, girls, anyone can do it. It's really nice to see that eSports is accessible, regardless of if the student's just learning English, if they have special needs. And it's really nice to see a student be able to shine in a place where maybe in a traditional classroom setting, they might not have the same opportunities or more academic obstacles that don't allow for that. So the parents in the community are really just starting to latch on to this idea that, wow, their kids could be computer scientists. Some of the parents that were with us at the battle just couldn't believe what their kids are capable of. So for a new teacher that wants to get started with eSports, the first thing I would say is check out Minecraft Education, check out the website. There's a bunch of free resources there, and you could start as a club just to get your foot in the water. This whole world, just try it. You don't know what your students are capable of. I did, I sure didn't. They want to come to school, and they're excited, and at the competition, see their faces light up. Nothing gets better as a teacher.